<laughs> no way. I've just jumped on here now. There's 250 of you online. I see who jumps on. Um, I need to come on here and, um, and answer a question that I got asked this morning by an old contact of mine. Um, so I, I was chatting to an old networking buddy, um, someone I used to meet up every couple of weeks, have breakfast with, and um, pass bits of paper around and share where we're at and fish for business and stuff. And I've stayed in contact with this guy because he, um, he's been through a similar thing to me. Got a health scare, got a bit fitter, decided to like being fit. And then he's at, he's now five years out of boozing, the same as me. Neither of us were raging alcoholics, just decided to give it a break. And then obviously just ended up five years have gone and we've not gone back to uh, to that. And it, we were just laughing about what a different world we live in and, and how it shouldn't be so unusual. And, and I guess what I'm saying is in, in the same way that um, fitness shouldn't be unusual, um, health shouldn't be unusual. You shouldn't be on the outlier of your social group because you look after yourself and you're fit and healthy. Um, and if you decide to have a drink or not, you know, that's up to you. But the, the point I'm getting at is he asked me, how do you fit it all in? Because I was telling him, you know, we've left the motor trade now and uh, it's cool because my I've got my parents back. Uh, they're now longer, no longer than my directors with me wanting to be, be the boss and then be the bosses. We're all just like, they're retired and spend some time with my children and I've gone off doing my own thing and he's like but how do you make all that work you're spinning all these plates I was like well actually everything I do is kind of the same like everything I I, I worked out not uh, three four years ago that I'm better at helping people than helping myself so I may as well turn that into a career now I'd already gone down the um, I'd gone down the CrossFit route because I've been a member of every single gym I've been a member of a program. I've been. I bought everything for the garage and never used it. And I, um, I've taken to the methodology, read and studied the methodology, been on the courses, and decided, you know what? There's actually more to this than just exercise. Um, and so, how do I fit that in? Well, it tends to be early mornings or evenings. Okay, and a lot, a lot of study, a lot of hard work, and and quite a lot of me training on my own to try and get better at. At, at doing what we do and showing what, what we do and, and demonstrating to people that I'm not the perfect uh, fitness article, but I'm trying and and hopefully that uh, that message gets across that wherever you're at, you know, if you're a, a coach of some some kind or a, a leader of some kind, you're developing yourself and bringing people along with you. Um, but that helping hand came from my my UW business, you'll have seen my posts about helping see people save money, but you've probably not seen that in the background, we developed a, a business that over the last 14 years of, of, of consistently working a little bit each day toward build a part-time side hustle type thing. And what I've managed to do is bring together a bunch of, it just seems to have happened like this, a bunch of busy professional type dads who on the face of it, everything's all right, what in reality could do with earning some extra money part-time um, without getting involved in any scams, without getting involved in any risky stuff, like putting money into stuff they're not quite sure about, without having to remortgage the house to buy a franchise, without having to um, not go on holiday that year because you've you've just bought a load of stock. Um, because we're selling essential services with the idea being that people – who deal with us is actually saving money, not spending it. And that that's the point of our business. And what the point of that business is, we get people who wouldn't ordinarily have set up their own business because most of them have got jobs. And we're bringing them together and say, right, well, let's do this together, a band of brothers. And we're all meeting at the Village Hotel in Ashton tonight, uh, seven till nine. We've got a little presentation about what we do. And then we've got some training um, to, to, to sort of review where the company's at and what we're doing. Um, and that then has moved into... So I've got people in the in, in the gym that I'm helping. I've got people in in um in, in the sort of business world that I'm helping. That's led to some sort of private work with helping people with their goal setting, their accountability, life balance, where they're going in their business, their health, their relationships, uh, their, their their finances. Um but, it, but it's all one thing. It's using those skills across a couple of a couple of different um across different plates, but they're not really all separate. It's not as though like I'm a, a builder and a financial advisor. Um, coaching in slightly different areas. 
having found the solution to lots of problems. I believe that CrossFit can solve health problems. I believe that UW can solve a lot of money problems. And I believe that my goal setting accountability um, uh, system can help people just have a bit of clarity with their lives. And the reason I've jumped on this call today is that, A, and I thought I'd do it before I get my hair cut, not after. I got my Hyrox hat on, doing Hyrox in January. I've been training hard. Um, but B, if he's asking, you might be. So listen, have a wonderful day. I'll catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye.